Hello and welcome to Worthy Woman Healing. Today we're going to be talking about spare the rod from the child's perspective. Stay tuned. So my name is Eliana Faith, and I'm co-host of the Worthy Woman Healing Podcast. We have been talking a lot on here about the whole concept of spare the rod. Steve, you want to put up um, our two other episodes. We did one episode, my mom and I together, on spare the rod and that whole concept and um, our disagreement with spanking children. And then my mom also did her own solo one talking to moms about... um, specifically like as children get older as they grow into adults how to deal with that transition and so today I'm going to be on talking from a college student 20 year old perspective on um the whole spread the rod concept and how it applies now um so there are a lot of facets that come with growing older and maybe like me I still live at home. And so even if you don't live at home, though, you're still navigating a lot of um, just feelings and, and thoughts as you're growing and into your own person. And maybe you're disagreeing with your parents. Maybe you're kind of wanting to fly your wings and you're figuring out where the boundaries, where the expectations are. And so I know for me, there are a couple of like there's some things that can just be really frustrating as we are. As I'm going into a season where I'm about to graduate, I have um, like a lot more responsibilities, but I'm not ready to be completely on my own yet. And so how to balance still respecting your parents while also um, being able to kind of fly on your own. And so the first thing that I wanna say is I just wanna validate the frustration that can come with um, growing older, becoming your own person, becoming an adult, being in school, having all these responsibilities, having a social life, it's a lot to balance. Um, It can feel feel very overwhelming to want to please your parents, to want to please your friends, to keeping up with work and school and everything that you're doing as a 20 something year old. So I just wanna say that first and foremost, that it's really hard. And no matter what you're doing, if you're a college student like me, that's a whole other beast. You're working at the same time. There's a lot going on. So the first thing that I wanted to say is that is that it's totally valid to feel frustrated, to not know um, kind of how to navigate it all, but and just to encourage you, give yourself grace. Um, You are learning, you are growing and Everything that you're doing is for your future self, which is so important, which is something that that we teach in our healing group, um, that the little things that you're doing now, the different things that you are doing throughout your day are creating your future self. And Steve, if you want to put up um, our amazing podcast producer, um, if you can put up the link to our Worthy Woman Healing Group where we help you can help you navigate all of those crazy things and learn how to balance life in general um, and heal from the things that are holding you back. So um, I'm off that. So first thing, having grace with yourself, validating that it's really hard growing up. But then on the flip side of that, maybe the thing that you don't want to hear, maybe you have been fighting with your parents or feeling like they're putting expectations on you and you're you know, you don't know how to meet them and still, you know, make sure you spend time with friends and work and go to school and get good grades and all of that. Um, In the midst of all of that, making sure to still have grace with your parents. And I'm speaking from someone who struggles, you know, in both those areas, who I have not maybe always given the grace to my parents that um, I need to. And so, being cognizant of the fact that they are older than you, they're wiser than you, um, and ultimately they have lived more life than you and respecting um, kind of what they, the input that they want to put on your life. And that can be a really hard thing to do when you are wanting to spread your wings and fly and do all of these different things, but it's really important to remember um, to hear them out, you know, and 
to do your best to communicate and work with them. You are only as sick as your secrets. It is time to stop suffering in silence and join other women who are also on a healing journey, who are being raw, real, vulnerable, and honest with what they are going through in their life, what they have been through in their life. And wherever two or more are gathered, we know God is with us. It, it says it right there in the Bible. So there is power to group healing. Miracles happen in there. You have one woman sharing, opening up her heart. Suddenly everyone else in the, in the group is saying, yeah, I've experienced that. I'm not the only one. There's such power in knowing that you are not alone in your suffering. You are not alone in your healing. And we meet twice a month. And in between those times, a lot happens, right? And it's important that you have time in between the sessions to practice the healing technique that I teach you. So you can come back into the group and celebrate with the other women. Hey, I actually remember to do the healing technique in that moment. That trigger didn't derail me anymore, but it's practice. I'm also a personal trainer, right? You don't just get a six pack abs by doing one sit up. You have to keep doing it over and over again. You don't run a marathon. You don't go out and run 13.1 miles for a half marathon the first time, right? You practice running a little bit every day. And that is what we do in Worthy Woman Healing Group. Join today and tell yourself, I'm gonna give this a three month commitment minimum because I know I need time to practice outside of these sessions and come in and get guidance from the other women on how to actually heal all of these wounds. Heal my mind, body, and soul one trigger at a time. You are worth it. And a couple of tips with this is, first of all, you probably will argue, you probably will fight, especially if you're still living at home and that's okay. Um, the important thing is at the end of that to come back together and to figure out a solution because part of being an adult, part of um, growing up is still respecting your parents, is still hearing them out, is still um, kind of just, just letting them speak into your life in a way that is meaningful. Um, obviously this doesn't apply if you are in an abusive home or a very toxic household where maybe you really don't like want advice from your parents or maybe you need to get out of that situation. Again, that's something that we can help you with um, in our Worthy Woman Healing Group or you can just reach out to us if you're in need of that. But aside from that, um, your parents are pretty wise. And that's something that I've had to learn. That's something that I'm still learning is that in the heat of a moment when I'm having an argument about something, maybe it's something silly, you know, like they want me to get home a little earlier. I don't want to do that. Um, or they need me to help out with something and it infringes on part of my schedule. And I'm like, ah, you know, and I'm feeling that weight of trying to balance everything while also, you know, still wanting to help my parents out. And it can just feel really overwhelming. But in that moment to have grace with yourself and with them, um, and just to remember that they have a lot of life. They've lived a lot of life. They know what they're talking about. Um, and you're going to disagree with them and that's okay perfectly normal but it's also important to hear them out um and so those are my my two main things are first of all to have grace with yourself to validate the fact that it's really hard growing up but also to make sure to still respect your parents to still work to honor them the best that you can um and just keep taking those steps to become your future 40 year old self who looks back at their 20s and thinks, man, I'm so grateful for the things that I did. And I'm so grateful for how I built this relationship with my family and my friends and um, not letting overwhelm, you know, get the best of you. Um, and yeah, 
So I hope that encourages all of you college students, all of you 20 something year olds out there. And um, it's really hard growing up. It really is. But your parents are going to discipline you in a different way. So maybe it's not the way that you were disciplined as a child, but they're going to try to impart that wisdom on you now and hear them out. Let them speak into your life and take it with a grain of salt, take it with wisdom, um, but also just make sure to continue respecting them. And yeah, and always remember you are worth it.